hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome to for the love of crafting and sharing collaboration that we do on the 20th of every month a group of lovely scrappy friends and I get together and every month we have a different theme throughout the year and today we are collaborating with a kit club called The Scrap Room. And in fact, The Scrap Room has a giveaway associated, if I'm not mistaken, with, with this YouTube hop over on their Facebook page or Facebook group. I will have the link below. I'm just discovering this kit club at the same time as all of you. There are a couple of the lovely ladies that collaborate um, here with us every month that are members of that kit club. Um, it is based on the page kit type approach and each kit I think allows you to make eight pages and then you can get single shot, double shot, which are add-ons and they are like page kits. I think in, in one of them you get like three pattern paper, three cardstock, four pattern papers, and, and a few other bits. Um, so, and I think they actually have a little coffee kind of club thing that associates with the kit and then you can order coffee. Anyway, I will have the information linked below and I'm sure uh, someone else on our lovely uh, hop here today will explain these things a lot, lot better than me. But we also had a sketch which is their june sketch and which is part of their normal challenges over on their facebook group and there was actually a recipe and i was unclear in my head whether we were to do the recipe together with the sketch or choose one or the other anyway in, in all honesty i went with this lovely grid sketch and that's what I did. And they call it June Jumpstart. So it's part of their inspiration to use their kits. So let's see what I got up to with this sketch from the scrap room. So there you go. So another one for my pandemic, my COVID-19 album. And this one is another new normal that I am calling the 2020 fashion trend masks. So there you go. So I was making a joke one day uh, with my, my lovely friend, uh, one of my scrappy besties in the UK, Helen, and I was saying, well, at least, you know, I'm getting masks to match my outfits. And, and I sent her a couple of photos. Um, and then she sent me back, which is so cute. Oh, look. Um, by the way, your mask matches my new trainers and I look how wonderfully coordinated we are. So, and then I love, because if you, you follow my channel for a while, you know that we've had quite a bit of banter to, to, to sort of encourage one another along throughout this, these crazy times. And, um, one of them was, was about how hilarious we thought we were in giving personalities to our veggies. So my answer back was, we're not only hilarious, but we have taste. So, serious subject, um, as so far it is not law uh, here in the part of Canada that I live in, but it is more than highly recommended. And it started by being not so much, probably not so useful, to being useful, to being very useful, to being recommended, to being really recommended, to being extra highly recommended. So there you go. So if we go out in public, we are requested to wear masks. And so that is my grid. And I followed the sketch fairly, fairly closely. In, in all honesty, my paper layers here in the back are pretty much exactly uh, what is here in the sketch. I did a lot of paper piecing so that these would look as though they were full sheets. The really only full um, sheet that I have here is this six by eight piece of paper, which um, I cut to about six by six, I believe, so that I would get that 
the, a lot of the rest of these are scraps and little bits that I had. This, this piece of paper goes along with this here. So there's just a strip of it and then the strip going this way. This I believe is a Simple Stories. This was just a scrap on my desk. Vicky Booten, Vicky Booten. And then I had in the bowl on my desk some leftover bits from Coco Vanilla from my How to Kill a Kit with Style and the Page Kits that I had put together. And as you know, I used two full Coco Vanilla Page Kits and then I really just had tiny little bits left over. A floral, another floral, um, and this chipboard heart and this sticker every day. So basically every day, 2020 fashion trip. You do you, be yourself, which means that I went to get some pretty little masks that reminded me of patterned paper. Uh, these pink, um, these are from Pink Fresh Studio, the tiny little puffy stickers. And I believe, I believe these scripty ones are also Pink Fresh Studio. Happy Life, of course, my, favorite little tiny puffies lately. Uh, not puffy, these are foam. And so really I have the cluster there. I do have my title in the same place, although I have it on a different way. I added a little tiny cluster over here uh, because I felt it needed something here and I was maybe a little bit further over to the left than in the sketch. And then of course, as is my new scrapbooking normal, I am getting either my corners or my sides or something filled up in a little corner. I had a couple of banners, so I added those to the top. And to round it all off, I used some enamel dots. So there you go. I followed the sketch closely. I did not use the recipe unless it is really the same, which I don't know. I No, it's not. So I, I, I think you could, they were probably two different pieces of inspiration. So again, please make sure you follow everybody along this hop to see some awesome takes on the sketch, maybe this lovely recipe challenge to get more information about the scrap room and the giveaway that they have associated with today's hop. And we will see you again on July 20th for another For the Love of Crafting and Sharing. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for being here. Bye.